Do you think it's too late to write a letter to Santa and say, hey Santa, I want a snowblower for Christmas? <laughs> and there's snow outside. I'm gonna throw on some Christmas music. It's gonna be just a jam fest. It's gonna be amazing. Maddie just texted me from school and she does not feel good. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our day. We are just getting up and getting moving. I'm gonna make some crew wheat for breakfast. But you guys are waking up to another surprise. We got some snow last night. You can't, oh my gosh. It looks a little fluffy. It's the size of <laughs> oh, Rufus, where are you going? You're disappearing. Last night, I guess it's early morning, about three, three o'clock, there was a car or truck that was either stuck in the snow or something because he was just and then he'd stop and then he'd try it again and he'd stop. For over half an hour, he was, I don't even know what. So it woke Jake and I both up. We looked outside. We couldn't even see his car anywhere, but it sounded like it was right behind our house. The snow plows went through. Well, I'm actually wondering if the kids are gonna go to school today. I'm gonna go check my email and see if there's anything in it yet, because that's a lot of snow overnight. Dad and Miley have just left for work, and Jack's outside shoveling the walk right now. I measured nine inches in the backyard on the smoker, but 10 inches out front on the lawn. We have between nine and 10 inches of snow right now. It rained first, so it's all like icy underneath, so Jack's having a hard time getting it off the driveway. He's not loving it, he's not loving it. And Dad would have shoveled more, but he had to get on the road. And if we had two shovels, I would help them, but we only have the one. At school today at the junior high, eighth graders are wearing red and the ninth graders are wearing green and the teachers are wearing white. So it's gonna be red, white, and green today at school. So they're having like a spirit week kind of thing going on, but it's Christmas week. Special Christmas week. So yesterday was Crazy Socks Day. What was the day before that? Santa hat. Santa hat? I didn't wear Santa hat though. Oh. Because I didn't know. And then we've got a dog that wants to play in the snow and Ali's bringing him inside. <laughs> we got out of the driveway thanks to Jack. And we're just taking it nice and slow Slowly going to now. school. Nice Slowly. and slow. <laughs> just pulled in from taking the kids to school. Holy moly, it is so crazy outside. Last time I left early so that I could get home before everyone else was on the road. This time I was actually looking for a delay of start from the school so I didn't leave as soon as I wanted. I'll call an excuse, they're tardies. Um, but now I've got to get the rest of the driveway and the sidewalk shoveled. But my neighbor, bless his heart, has his snowblower out and he did my sidewalks for me. So that is so awesome. I owe him some hot chocolate. I'm gonna get the driveway all done and the road by the driveway and it's beautiful outside, but now the real work begins. I don't know if I'm ever really gonna get um, defrosted. I am, it's so cold outside, but you guys, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm so excited, because today I'm just gonna be rapping while the kids are in school, and there's snow outside. I'm gonna throw on some Christmas music. It's gonna be just a jam fest. It's gonna be amazing. But I actually just called the school, and I don't need to worry about the kids' tardies because the school is excusing them for the first 20 minutes of school, and they were only five minutes late. So, yay! I set my watch to clock my uh, shoveling, so that's my exercise for the day. Now that's recorded on my watch, it actually happened, right? My neighbor came over and he actually asked if he could finish my driveway for me, but I had him use a snowblower on the road going into our driveway, and he saved me, honestly, an hour of shoveling because it is powdery on top, but it is heavy, wet snow on the bottom, so he saved me at least an hour shoveling today so i'm so grateful for people that are kind and are willing to help other people it's amazing do you think it's too late to write a letter to santa and say hey santa i want a snowblower for christmas <laughs> i decided just to um shovel the patio so that maybe when the dog comes in he won't have as much snow it's my theory anyway but i just stopped shoveling for a second and looked up it is absolutely Beautiful. The sun is peeking over the mountain. Oh, it's gorgeous. Rufus, do you approve of the paths I made you? <laughs> I got the house cleaned up and I'm just getting ready to go start wrapping. I needed to clean the house. It was pretty, it was pretty bad. So I cleaned the house first before I went to go wrap. Maddie just 
texted me from school and she does not feel good. I asked her if she wanted to stay or if she needed to come home. She's like, I don't know. I've got a headache and I'm achy. And I said, okay, well, I'll just come get you. I need to go get Maddie from school. We'll get her home. We'll get her in her comfies and she'll just kind of hang out with me all day. Just got back from getting her. Look, she's already got her Chromebook out and she's gonna be working on her classes today. This little girl, she's an amazing girl. I super yeah. love her, but she's not feeling so swift. But she did say that she got through PE, so she yeah, was happy hard to make up. How are you feeling? In first period, I was like sitting on my chair and I just like was aching all over. Aching all over? Yeah. Achy and a headache? And then when I was playing basketball, my throat was really hurting. You can't see it on the camera, but her eyes are a little bit, a little bit red. So she's gonna just do her homework, get her comfies. I'll lock myself in my bedroom and do some wrapping. <gasps> I was doing things today. I am doing things today. Then you got my text message. You're like, oh. And then I got a text message from a little girl. But you guys, I don't think she's faking it. This little girl does not miss school. The fact that she called me and she's like, I don't feel good, and that she was willing to come home. <laughs> says a lot. Check in on her in a little bit. The girls share a room and Miley wasn't feeling good yesterday so I think just the fact that they share a room they're gonna be sharing germs but. Germ sharing is fun. So she's gonna do that. I'm gonna get some wrapping done. We'll get some lunch. I have a buddy to hang out with today now. I had a buddy yesterday so and I have a buddy today. <laughs> Rufus is very happy that Maddie is home. Happy puppy chilling on the lap huh? She was reading on the couch so nicely, and then I said, come to the table and eat some lunch because the dog won't leave you alone if you eat it on the couch. Oh my gosh, she does not feel good. Oh, my baby. It's cold. It's cold. It's really not, though. You don't feel warm, but your eyes are still red like you've got a fever, like you don't feel good. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Eat some lunch, and we'll get you some medicine, okay? Mm. <laughs> Even sick, you have a good attitude. I love it. Crunchy. <laughs> All right, so she has uh, moved from the couch to the floor. Comfortable. She's comfy on the floor. How do you feel? 110% on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take Hallie to the store and Jack's keeping him entertained with Dude Perfect. I'm gonna take Hallie to the store because they actually have a young women's activity tonight and it's a white elephant gift party. So I need to go get a white elephant gift for Maddie and Hallie. Hallie's gonna take Maddie's gift with her so that Hallie or Maddie can still participate over FaceTime or yeah. Zoom or something. So we're gonna go find something white elephant -is ish. And Jack is gonna keep Maddie company and watch Dude Perfect because it's making her chuckle and laugh and making her feel better. Me and Hallie are back. Maddie sent me with some instructions. She wanted something kind of thoughtful and funny. So what I found was Something very, very thoughtful and very, very funny. Yay! It's a unicorn popper. So you squeeze the unicorn and it pops out a ball out of its nose. This is awesome. You like that one? Yeah. Sweet. And then Hallie picked. Dun, 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 dun. It's I a sipper. <laughs> Hallie, our cup kid, picked a sipper. It's really cute. And she's kind of wanting to bring it home. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of nice. So she's gonna get these things wrapped. We're having Brinner night tonight. So we're having French toast sticks, um, potatoes. <laughs> Jack's all, yes! French toast sticks, potatoes, and possibly eggs if they want them. So hungry man style breakfast. So today is so far is going good. She's still not feeling super swift. But we'll see if we can get her to eat some dinner. She didn't eat very much lunch. So hopefully I can get her to eat a couple French toast sticks for dinner and she's hopefully feeling better tomorrow so she doesn't miss any more of the fun week of school before Christmas break. Hallie has the sipper and the unicorn popper. All disguised, wrapped cute in my truck wrapping paper. It's so cute, I love it so much. I don't know how I'm gonna wrap this one. Doggy, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to take Jack to work. Tell Dude Perfect bye bye, buddy. We gotta go to work. Hallie just got back from her activity that she went to with the white elephant gifts and stuff, and she got a what'd you get? A little nativity it's ornament. a little nativity ornament. It's so cute. 
It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. And then she played, she got a gift for Maddie as well. I did. So, Maddie, you, <laughs> you don't feel good. What did you get from the white elephant? I got four bath bombs that I'm probably going to use tomorrow. Um, got this nail filer. I really need to file dummy nails. Okay. I got a face mask. Oh, fun. And back massage oh. thing. Oh. This is the best right now. <laughs> this is my friend. That's why you're I make sure nobody stole it. <laughs> Aww. I saw that and I put everything back in the bag and I was like, what'd you get? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> they, they didn't know, so they weren't able to steal it. Aww, how sweet. You know whose present this was? Okay, guys, that's it for us tonight. I'm going to get Maddie to bed. Um, everybody's winding down and getting ready for bed, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming over. We really appreciate you. Keep being the good. Keep being that light to people around you, and we love you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.